One of Kansas' newest and perhaps best prospective hunting areas is a recently opened portion of the Kansas Army Ammunition Plant near Parsons. This Army installation, no longer an active ordnance production facility, sold approximately 3,000 acres to Kansas Wildlife and Parks last year. Rob Riggin, Kansas Wildlife and Parks Public Lands Manager, is currently developing it as a public wildlife area. Well, the Grand Osage Wildlife Area is one of our newer acquisitions for the Department of Wildlife and Parks, and it's a shared property between the Army and the Kansas Department of Wildlife and Parks right now. But we're excited about allowing opportunities on this property. Uh, turkey numbers and deer numbers are exceptional. Uh, years of Army management for the resource has, has produced an excellent age class of deer and, and large population. But we're working on providing access, uh, limited access uh, for deer and turkey hunting by uh, limited drawing. As a deer and turkey hunter myself, uh, I must say I'm very impressed with the property and it's, it's the type of place that I think anybody would want to hunt. Habitat varies widely from timbered draws to pastures and brushy lots to crop fields. Deer density as measured by surveys is more than 50 whitetails per square mile and eastern turkeys are plentiful as well. Due to restricted access to the gated army base, all hunts are currently by drawing only. Hunting is allowed by drawing and permits only. We allow, uh, have in the past 40 to 50 deer hunters in the fall and 40 turkey hunters in the spring. Two special hunts, now closed, will allow 17 two-person groups to hunt two short seasons in 12 units during the upcoming spring turkey season. Hunters must attend orientation classes to hunt Grand Osage since access remains through a base security checkpoint and requires a badge. The area has a number of fishing ponds and lakes with bass slot limits in force. That and other recreation will be developed as the base is transitioned completely to the Great Plains Development Authority, which is taking over the decommissioned base in the near future. The Grand Osage Wildlife Area has ongoing agricultural and livestock leases, and hunters must be respectful and attentive to these interests while hunting. Drive over spring cattle guards help alert hunters where cattle will be encountered. As the area is developed, Grand Osage promises to be a valuable recreational opportunity for Kansas outdoors enthusiasts. Hunters interested in fall deer hunting on this new area should contact the Mineland Main Office in Pittsburgh at 620-231-3173. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife and Parks.